Section 28 of Anecdotes of Dogs. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Maria Therese. Anecdotes of Dogs by Edward Jesse. Section 28. The Beagle. The Beagle may be mentioned as a sort of foxhound in miniature, and nothing can well be more perfect than the shape of these small dogs. But how different are they in their style of hunting? The Beagle, which is always his nose to the ground, will puzzle for a length of time on one spot, sooner than he will leave the scent. The Foxhound, on the contrary, full of life, spirit, and high courage, is always dashing and trying forward. The Beagle, however, has extraordinary perseverance, as well as nicety of scent, and also a liveliness of manner in hunting, which, joined to its musical and melodious note, will always afford pleasure to the lover of the chase, or at least to those who are unable to undertake the more exciting sport of fox hunting. In rabbit shooting, in gorse and thick cover, nothing can be more cheerful than the Beagle, and they have been called rabbit beagles from this employment, for which they are peculiarly qualified especially those dogs which are somewhat wire-haired. In the reign of Queen Elizabeth, a race of beagles had been bred so small that a pack of them could be carried out to the field in a pair of panniers. That princess is said to have had little singing beagles, a single one of which could be placed in a man's glove, and they probably at this time received the name of lapdog beagles. Dryden, in his fables, alludes to these dogs as follows. The graceful goddess was arrayed in green, about her feet were little beagles seen, that watched with upward eyes the motion of their queen. Pope also mentioned them. To plains with well-bred beagles we repair, and trace the mazes of the circling hare. End of section 28